And hello everybody, welcome. Bogmon here playing more Frostpunk. Things are going okay. Got a good supply of coal, uh, but our wood supply is quite low. And there's not much happening in our steel, in, this, in the world of steel either. There we go, though. That's up and running, so that's that's good. I'm gonna go find some workers to work that place. There we go. Ten workers to hit the wall drill. From that wall drill, we will get 18... Maybe not 18, but you know, we'll get a decent number of wood. More than we would have gotten... Uh, from just scavenging the crates. The gloomy cave. More survivors. Alright, well. I guess we'll explore it. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Do we risk attacking the bears? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, when our scouts attack the bears, the people of the cave, four kids, um, 11 workers, and ooh, 18 engineers, joined them together and drove the beasts away. Then we all set out towards the city. Bloody chunks of flesh and bone and soon everywhere. Carcasses have been torn into unrecognizable shreds. Impossible to tell human and animal remains apart. How grim! But that's... That's life. In the world of Frostpunk. That's okay. It's a lovely morning, says Genevieve Golding. It's about to get a little chillier, though. I told you. It's got a wee bit nippy. Nippy enough that I think I'm going to have my people come back. Right, anyone who's working in the open, no. Come home. Come home instead. Uh, I mean, it's wild with a moderate chance. But it's, it's better. Oh, I'm going to need more houses, aren't I? Yes, I will. That's a good point, Bogmod. You will need more houses, won't you? And I'm out of wood. Luckily, we do have more wood on the way. It's getting cold with you today. Now it's minus 40 degrees outside. If you take a look, yeah, places are chilly. But thankfully, well, this place will help produce lots of wood for us. I think I need another tent. How many are coming? Thirty-three people. Yeah, well, that should do. Book of laws. We're gonna build a care house. The grave lale and amputees will be cared for in, at low cost in special homes. practical solution and in our situation that's what counts 
the best care we can provide right now. There we are. We have, um, the scouts have arrived, bringing children and workers. Well, it looks like I'm good on housing. Steelworks Research. Let's immediately start work on... Generator range upgrade. Double. Double. Or we invest in heaters. Let's raise the temperature in all heat zones by one level. Wait. Oh, there we are. Heat workplaces during working hours. Consumes one coal per hour when running. Hmm. Sounds. Or, oh, there we are. The steam hub. Three coal per hour. Well, that's what we're going to need. But also, a steel works. There we are. We don't have too many people get sick. Yeah, keep keep playing near the uh, near that. Ooh, um, twenty three. I think I need another child shelter. Child shelter. Plan to build a, a heating thing over here soon, anyway, so it'll work out. The kids will have the heats. So you can see, now it is cold. Even right next door to the... It's chilly. Where are you guys going? Karis was established in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. Good. While gravely on the empties, we be given palliative treatment before we can find a proper way to care for them. Those staying in the care house, we begin half rations. And up to 20 people can be taken care of in the care house. I got lots of people could could be working. So, two, three, it's 22 a day, 60, 64, 128, not quite enough to feed everybody. So, another hunter's hut. That'll be the hunt zone of my industries. Uh oh, one person's sick that we're unable to treat. Two people sick, we are unable to treat. Well, that's the cold for you. But the cold's almost over. So I will take my chances. Where is my medical facility? No. There you are. We made it this far. I think we can survive anything. Good day. See to make our city even better. Well, luckily, 
Temperature's about to go up. care of the, the people. Just how we like it. Now that things are a little warmer, chilly, but you know, it's, that's okay. Livable. Which is much better. I'm probably going to need... Let's do that and that. We're going to build, we're going to build a second workshop. Second workshop. We're going to research. Scouts. And I'm going to build that steam hub I talked about. Well, once I get more wood. Oh, now that it's warmer out, let's get some people out gathering the last of our resources just kind of laying around out there. Alright, I do want to make another doctor place, don't I? A medical post. There it is. 20 steel for a steam hub. The sturdy shelter has been met. Steam cores, wood, food. I would like to take that. Uh, the shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. Notice posted on the heavy door. Tall scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to avoid the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. Sign points, trails in two different directions. London. 1,934 miles. Home, 27 miles. Well, all right then. But I, I really want to bring the steel core back home. Because with the steel core, I can start to get coal going. Proper coal production. It's a very vital thing to do. So this is a steam hub. As Watch. Watch the snow here. Oh yeah, things just got a little bit warmer. These houses just got a little bit more livable. More scouts. Coal mining. And we're going to send out some scouts. Just going to need to find some workers. Five workers. That's a start. There we are, five workers. Off to the observatory with you. All right, good. I'm pleased. There we are. Two scientist groups. What is this? Um, two buildings with a potential of 130%. Still better. Still an improvement. There we are. Oh, I thought I, th I thought I sent you guys. 
home. Let's try that again. Location. All right, so they're heading home. That's the important thing. I need to treat people. Those are the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. Don't have to get everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Alright, that's good advice. That said, I should probably build another resource depot right over here. Just so I can store all this extra food I've got. Mm, Cause boy do I have a lot of food. Alright, so I've got ten people all being taken care of. The correct amount of people are being healed. Sick but getting treated, no issues, no issues. Where's my other one? There we are. Four hours. Four, three, five. Everyone will be fine in a day. It's not bad. There we are. Got some food. Got some wood. And more importantly, a steam core. Let's hit up that steel bridge. I'm sure it'll be a fun place to visit. In fact, I know it'll be a fun place to visit. Because I have the power of having played the game before. Alright, so we've got this. Now we can also research prosthetics. Uh, but I'll leave that one alone for now. In fact, we'll get ceremonial burials. If anyone dies, we'll take less of a hit. Um, the, other, the other idea you can go with is... Organs. But we'll go with the... Uh, yeah. Because we went with the cemetery. We want to give them proper funerals. Our dead was to less. Fancy burials? Who has time for that? Not everyone agrees with my... My burial plan. That's fine. It was entitled to different, different views, different opinions. Said, I'm gonna build. Within range of my special heater. Mm -hmm. That way, people can leave these chilly houses, right, which are chilly, and go to these warmer houses, which are livable. Because that's how I roll. And with livable homes. There's the observatory, and we found some survivors. Snow covers the pressed instruments, and the dome is open. Inside, instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained they came here for help, but found everyone dead. The astronomers continued their observation until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote up in their diaries the loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmospheres by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Ominous. Crash site, but we must escort these poor people home first. Oh, it's so grim. The prospect of a dimming sun. I mean, how do you even, how do you even counter that? Alright, 
people will, will naturally move into these more comfortable homes, abandoning these other less functioning homes. There we are. We've got our coal mines. Let's figure out the secret of heaters. There we are. So we got uh, some more kids, some more engineers. Go to this crash site. Lots of wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They probably are machines. All right. Hopefully there's supplies there. But this also gives us the extra workers we need. Quickly try and grab all the goodies around us. Oh, and I believe I can build a coal mine now. Yeah, that's right. Working in a coal mine. Working the coal mine. I need to invest in a new, one more doctor place. Mm -hmm. I still have enough room for everybody. Kids are in the engineering facilities helping out. And there we are, we have heaters. So, let's take a quick touch on heaters. Bam! So as you can see, what I can just do is go over here. Bam! 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 Well, once those places are finished being built, I can heat them up and make them comfortable. Then the, my people won't get sick working there. Okay, see how it works? With the power of heat... I will um, endeavor to employ as many doctors as necessary to keep everyone up and alive. Yeah, I definitely need more steam cores. That's what we'll have to do for now. Let's go. See? Building things. Doing stuff. And there we are. Nice medical post up and running. With patients being taken care of. Everyone's being properly treated. Oh, it's filled with life over here. It's kind of dark and gray over here. But filled with life over here! Do we even have anyone over here? No. No, oh, there's a few. There's a few people stuck living on the edges. Tragic. Oh, now I've got four people who can't cut it. It's eh, fine. Now let's see. I've got four food places. They're each doing 22 a day. 22 a day is... 88. 88 doubled is 176. 
a slight food deficit. But I think I'm okay with it. Oh. The Bridge to Winterhome. Blast. Ah, here we are. Built by the people of Winterhome in AD 1887. I was right, the 1800s. The bridge is kept completely snow free by working automaton. Yeah, automatons. So, it's up the, at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. More so, the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. Be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Well, I like my automatons. They're like big, friendly boys. So, I'm going to send it to the city. You we reprogrammed it and sent it on its way. As it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily towards the city, the first wisps of snow start to settle on the bridge. I mean, even uh, that's even that has its own poignant doom and gloom to it. All right, well, let's go to the weather station. Oh, finding the bridge to Winterhome proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions: Why was the bridge deserted? Why was it the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations of, uh, to it all, but people are growing anxious. Well, we'll find out. My hope has fallen slightly. Just slightly, though. Overall, I think we're doing okay. So what am I researching? Ah, yes, the drafting machines. Then that brings us things like better beds or better uh, houses, right? Better medical posts, um, enhanced res er, ex uh, resource gathering, faster scouts, a factory, outposts, better heating options. Uh, I'll probably go for getting more coal. I think I'm now. Let's take a look at it. Uh, oh no, I gained 500 a day, but I consumed 260. We are, we're doing fine for coal. All right. That said, it is time. We're, we're going to take a little break here, so thank you for watching. We'll come back soon, we'll play more, and I'll talk to you all in a bit.